when you only have to create a small number of payments, they can be entered manually to save time in searching through outstanding invoices. The manual check batch entry process can be started from the payments menu or the checks button on the toolbar. This screen lists all active batches and each batch is associated with a single bank. When creating a new batch, a default for the bank can be set in the company profile if you have multiple banks. There are three types of payments for manual check entries. The first is payments and are used to apply to existing vendor invoices already entered into the system. These are listed at the grid in the bottom. To pay an invoice either fully or partially, edit the invoice detail and enter the payment amount. The second type of payment is a prepayment, typically used for deposits. Prepayments have a single detail for the invoice number and the amount. When that invoice number is posted later, it will automatically match to this prepayment. An activation date is available to allow selection by system check runs. The third type is cash invoices, which contains not only the payment but also the invoice. The cash invoice number will be used to generate the single invoice transaction associated with this payment. The details or distributions entered exactly in the same way as for invoice batches. You can also enter distributions for sending to job cost or time and billing if you use these programs. Cash invoices do not require a vendor record. If this payment is for a one-time vendor, you can leave the vendor code blank and instead enter their name and other payee details on the address tab directly on the batch entry. For any payment type, the check can be set for printing by selecting the Print Check option. If the check was generated elsewhere and you only need to enter the transaction into payables, do not print the check and simply enter the check number here. If you require letters in your check numbers, company profile options to include alpha characters and also uppercase letters only are available. For printed checks, the check number will be assigned based on the sequence defined in the bank at the time of printing. The default check specification can also be assigned to the bank. You can print checks for just this entry, for multiple selected entries within a batch, or in an entire batch. Click the print button to start the process, printing checks to the specified printer. After checks have printed, you can choose to print an additional form. These are often used for advice-only details, which can be emailed or faxed to the vendor, or printing advices to plain paper to avoid wasting pre-printed stock when paying dozens of invoices. Manual check payments can be used to match invoices to prepayments that were not assigned an invoice number. Create a payment type batch entry and set not to print. Use a check number similar to the prepayment. Then select both the invoice and the prepayment to pay. The net payment amount will be zero and posting this entry will change the current amounts to zero, allowing them to be cleared to history and no longer printing on the open payables report. Use manual checks for flexibility in the way you record payments to vendors. For more information about Adagio Accounting, use these on-screen links or from the video description. Thanks for watching.